This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Stopbox USA AR-15 Chamber Lock. I've received several emails asking me to review this device, which sells on Amazon for $149. First, the good news. The construction seems to be fairly good quality, with most of the external components made of machined anodized aluminum, and the internal parts made of aluminum and plastic. Second, it can be unlocked fairly quickly by pushing the buttons of the combination and then the top button. The motion looks something like this. It can be awkward at first, but with a little bit of practice, it becomes fairly fast and easy. Finally, this is entirely mechanical, which means it doesn't depend on batteries or electronics. That's the end of the good news. The bad news is that the user-selected code must have two buttons depressed and two buttons released. That means there are six possible combinations. It also means it would take less than 30 seconds to try them all. You can increase the number of possible combinations to 15 if you purchase additional plastic parts from the company, though frankly, at the $149 price point, they should already be included. But I'm not sure it makes a difference. It's that low number of combinations that makes me struggle to see a use profile for the product. If the firearm is in my control, I don't want this lock on it, and if it's out of my control, I don't think a product with six possible combinations is adequate. Now, hypothetically, let's say you wanted a faster method of entry than trying six combinations. Well, here you go. All you have to do is press this top button and then try each of the code buttons you can see that bottom one stuck down. That is an indication that it's part of the combination. Then we try the other buttons and it opens up. Let's do that one more time in full speed. Okay, folks, while this does seem to be well made, I just don't see a use for it. The six possible combinations take only seconds to try and decoding it is even faster. It's certainly not something that I would ever trust to stop a curious adolescent. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.